you know what cinnabar is? The red powder that the Maya used? Sure, I know. Don't it's patronize me. Shield too, You're right. Not? How did you know that, sir? Cinnabar is super toxic. Just yeah. Just going to give away all the evidence that they have. <laughs> let, let me see your hand. Yeah. Open your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just like withered away. <laughs> it's just you're like watching his face for symptoms of arsenic poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Archaeology Arcade. I'm Mike with the Florida Public Archaeology Network out of our coordinating office in Pensacola. And I'm joined once again by Tristan, who's in our Tallahassee office, uh, Florida's capital, in our North Central Regional Office. And once again, we're bringing back our resident Nancy Drew expert and uh, U.S. Forest Service archaeologist Rachel Hines to play our uh, pickup right where we last left off on this Nancy Drew game secret of the Scarlet Hand. Are we are we loaded in the correct save point? I think so. Yes. R Rachel, can you confirm that we are Yeah, I think cuz we had the glow stick, right? <laughs> we, we ended yeah, looking yeah, at, yeah. We ended looking yeah. at the coffin. Okay. So, if I remember correctly and correct me if I'm wrong, but we basically solved a whole bunch of puzzles for some reason that we had to do. For and, work, uh, not for the mystery, for work. For work, right. We're getting and, paid to do this. And we're still not sure. I don't know if we really got any more clues, did we? Or maybe not, I just missed them. I don't think so. No. Okay. Yeah, we didn't talk to anyone. <laughs> did we solve all the, all the uh, puzzles? We've got all of them except the last one. Okay. Which okay. we can't solve for now. Oh, okay. It's a trick from Sunny June. Oh, that's Sunny June. Mm -hmm. Classic our June. Life difficult. Uh, and so then for, sorry, he, go ahead. So he changed the the computer basically, right? Yes. Is that what I he did? I think that's right. Mm hmm. Right. And then if anybody is on our Twitch channel right now, if you have any questions, just feel free to enter those in the chat. I'm just going to try to monitor that, although you, the, the few that's on there may be bots. We don't know. We're going to assume you're real people. <laughs> but you can ask questions too. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I have lots bot of questions. Bot friendly. Why? Oh, I was Why? talking to the bots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Russian bots. Me too. You would definitely get too. <laughs> we'll probably get questions like, do you want to meet women? That's what we've been getting lately. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna turn you guys down just it's a little lonely bit. times. It is, yeah. I mean, all the uh, you know company you can keep right now is is good company. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so right now, I think Tristan, do you you said last time that you thought that the curator did it? I also agreed. Mm -hmm. Have you since changed your mind? And Rachel, we know that you know who did it because you've played this game many times so do you oh, i won't stand? weigh in you're way mm -hmm. <laughs> tristan do you still stand by your i don't have any reason to think otherwise still because i don't think we've actually advanced the mystery right i yeah, yeah. all right where where do we go now yeah what i do don't do? know where we're at now we're in the basement yes we are on the second level yeah, so you, I would go back, question mark. Um, yeah, I would head back up the stairs oh, back and get question out of the mark. pyramid. I was listening. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Open. I think I'm delayed. Okay. Well, that could make this interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so okay. we've been here. Yep, we're at the start. Mm -hmm. And so I don't this, recall what Sony actually did right now. He was terrible at his job. Yeah. You know that. Mm -hmm. He changed the Let's answer. Just, I think we just need to go and walk into a room and then someone will surprise us with like, hey, this thing happened like they did last time. Okay. Maybe? No? Wow. Rachel? It's like you're psychic. 
<laughs> it's almost as if I played Nancy Drew games. Are they all kind of like this? All the games, like similar? Yeah, they all have like a different educational theme, and they have similar types of puzzles, and usually like five characters. Okay, so this is a weird glitch thing that I think we're at right now. Oh. Um, and we have to trigger a scene like Mike was describing. And um, so I think what you want to do is turn around and go like you're going into the garden. Okay. To the right. I wonder who is going to accost us this time. But then turn around and walk back to the pyramid. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh no, someone fell. And I think <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> wow, he's dead. <laughs> huh. Heinrich. Sounds of ambulance sirens. Okay, so I think I pointed this out a couple episodes ago when wow. we were looking what? at this game. And I thought that the staircase was very unsafe. Yeah. Got amnesia <gasps> now. You'd better get the lowdown from Joanna first. George is right. She is your supervisor. <laughs> better get the lowdown. Okay. Goodness. That was fast. So yeah. wait. So he's... Did she call 911 already? Yeah, ambulance guess... came. Okay. He is in the hospital. Okay. Yeah. He has amnesia. That so he's siren had... was the ambulance. <laughs> so it wasn't the police. It could have been It both. said ambulance, so... Okay. I mean, hopefully it was both suspicious circumstances and for so, those of you who don't know this is what phones used to look like and still do at hotels oh. that's just true at a hotel yeah. yeah that's true but nobody does anybody actually use those i wonder i guess if you get like a wake do people still get wake up calls sometimes i think i i haven't done that in a long time just use my phone my cell phone hmm all right, so we're going to go to it's so we need 10 a.m. right to... now. I have to press cancel. Yeah. Like any time that you use an alarm clock. <laughs> hey, turn on the TV. <laughs> Maybe salute your shorts is on. Okay. So we need to go find Joanna. I think we got to go. Yes. Okay. Well, that's what Bess and George suggested. Right. That's our only clue in what to do right now. Mm -hmm. You could probably go see anyone if you wanted. Probably. Are you saying I should go see someone else? Is that a hint? It's up to you. <laughs> it sounds like a hint. <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> so someone clearly pushed him. He knew too much. Well, that's the suspicion. Right. All right. We got our keys. So did she push him? Maybe that's what should happen. Nancy? No, not Nancy. We were <laughs> that would be a plot here. twist. That'd be funny. My star glyph man bumps his head and forgets his own name. What's next, Nancy? Del Rio pulls the plug on the monolith. The board clams up on my funding. My mother posts my old prom pictures on the internet. <laughs> the internet. <laughs> the internet. This is with a capital on, I. On MySpace. On Friendster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we you can't have Facebook do. unless you're in college. You have to have a college email address, and that's the only way you can get on Facebook. <laughs> oh my! That Back was it. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. It was probably that was probably after this game came out. When did this game? This was what? Two thousand three. I want to say. Okay, so, so that's that, even that's, before. that's later than that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So seven. Oh, was after. Yeah. This was like after. two. That's like possibly MySpace territory. Yeah, it's getting close. We do seem to be on Who's shaky the footing, don't first we? Friend what I need from you space. right now is action, not commentary, Nancy. <laughs> Will you follow up with the hospital um. and see if there's anything we can do to get Henrik's marbles back? Wow. You're worried about him, aren't you? Yeah. She wants to, she wants to make sure he doesn't remember what he saw. Yeah, cuz she did it. You did it. 
So I guess we'll call right away, call huh? Call right away. You can also pick up Henrik's mail if he gets any. Keep the lab in order and just try to help me keep the entire museum from going up in smoke. I like how this all comes down to your entire museum functioning is all left up to Nancy Drew. Yeah, your mm -hmm. intern. Yeah. If all right, so. that's what your museum's functioning comes down to, then you've got big problems. <laughs> you do, yeah. You need to stop worrying about that model. <laughs> Prom pictures is the least of your problem. <laughs> Now though, I want to know what her prom pic. What is on her prom pictures? Yeah. It's probably like, your, what is her hairdo is like a very eighties, <laughs> maybe big yeah. hair. I think that's got to be. I it. mean, at least she went. You know. Yeah, I think it's something else. Uh. Do you, by any chance, know what animal Pakal was afraid of? Afraid I can't help you there. Oh. Okay. I guess we'll go I've got do work. work to do. Semper ubi sabubi. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> I assume it was Latin, but I like how they just said it without like there it is. Semper no explanation. Ubi doo. <laughs> Ruby doo doo doo. <laughs> Rudy tooty tootin. <laughs> Pretty sure. Okay, so check the lab for mail. And call the hospital. I feel like his, his desk would have mail if it was going to be any radio. Check that. Um, oh, there's some locked. papers by the books. It locked. It locked. Oh, stop. Use your keys. <laughs> Maybe with our skeleton keys. Okay. Oh, I see. That. It's hidden behind the his degree, the secret <laughs> mail. Check or can you? <laughs> We've call them before. up. See if they have the answer. Yeah. Have you ever tried to call someone, Rachel, on this game? Uh, well, we do call Chaco Canyon eventually. Oh, mm, look at that. Um. That's yeah, all. Yeah, you don't even need me, Mike. You I know. In everything. <laughs> I've watched a lot of Detective Columbo. Remember that show, Columbo? He's like, let no. me ask you one more question before I leave. <laughs> no? Nope. Murder, she wrote? No. How about that? I know that one. Okay. How about the old lawyer guy, Andy Griffin? Remember, he was like a uh, Matlock. Yeah. Remember that show? Mostly because of The Simpsons. <laughs> Um, oh, no. Wait, we're looking for his mail? Is that what we're telling? Or the hospital number. Oh, okay. So, yes. I think if you just pick it up, I think you'll have, yeah, I think you'll have a message from the hospital. Hey, this is just like at work. This is Nurse Bluefoot calling from Eleanor Roosevelt Memorial Hospital in regards to Henrik Vanderhune. I believe you're a colleague of his. Since Mr. Vanderhune was admitted, he has repeated your name several times in states of semi-consciousness. You're no suspect. Been unable to contact any of his family members, we're hoping you might be willing to act as Henrik's support person as he begins the difficult process. <laughs> That's of so sad. He just met her. <laughs> Yeah, what? Oh, we got you the number now. You're to be his best friend. <laughs> I have it written down. <laughs> of course you do. Um, well, did you remember it? Oh, but Tristan. I, oh, you don't have to do the area, area code because it's it. the local number. Yeah. That's how that used to work. <laughs> See what happens. Nancy Drew, you left me a message regarding Henrik Van. I'm calling in regard to it recently been a patient. Probably this one. Okay. Nurse Bluefoot? Sure. This is Nancy Drew. You left me a message regarding <laughs> Henrik Vanderhune. 
How is he? Nancy Drew. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Nancy oh, Drew. I'm so relieved. We've been <laughs> unable to locate any family members, and we do <laughs> like amnesia patients oh. to have at least one personal support person when they begin reality orientation. <laughs> Can you explain okay. amnesia? No, Can you don't, don't. The Too late. <laughs> we don't want to. Diana, <laughs> you remember this person that you At just home, met? Treat amnesia? Well, reality orientation is a kind of treatment that helps a patient get reacquainted with the facts and circumstances of his or her life. Henrik has not actually lost his memory. It's just that his brain is injured in such a way that he can't access the place where the memories are stored. Interesting. So okay. how does he regain access to the storage place? First, we do repetitive memory exercises. Oh, we have to play more games. <laughs> the basic facts, like his name. Is that right, Rachel? We're going to have to play memory games? No. What? The day Maybe. And so on. <laughs> I can't remember. We try to stimulate Henrik's sensory memories in order to help trigger or find the way back to his cognitive memory. Um, Where do I come that. in? You can't help Henrik remember his childhood, <laughs> but you can probably help him remember his work, and who knows where that will take him. <laughs> All roads lead to Rome, as they say. One great tool is the Reality Orientation Board. I knew it. It's a place to post information and pictures for the patient to look at over a period of time. You may want to bring in images or photos to place on the board. Things from the museum, perhaps. All right, let's find awake some awake pictures. Right mm, not at the moment. <laughs> We're keeping him under close observation. When do you think he'll be out of intensive care? Once he's out of the danger zone, we'll move him over to neurology. Most informative. Okay. So we gotta. So are we just we're just bringing pictures and not artifacts, we'll right? Very soon. We'll do. Yeah. Visiting hours are ten to four every day. If the patient is not engaged in treatment and if he seems stable. Great. Uh, is there anything else? Just remember, Henrik's brain has been knocked around like a peanut in its shell. <laughs> he may have <laughs> attention difficulties, headaches, uh, anxiety. Sometimes he may seem giddy, too. We need to keep these conditions in check. Don't push him too hard, or he may mm. have some kind of meltdown. Whoa. Thanks for the warning, this will be interesting. Bluefoot. Be well. <laughs> First this thing reminds we do, you. What do you know about this red hand? <laughs> yeah, let's go interrogate him. Yeah. I know you did it. <laughs> Stop lying. So we gotta You're find some faking. pictures. <laughs> so. Yeah, what if he threw himself down the stairs? It's all a ruse. Yeah. Could be. All right, so we gotta find pictures. We gotta take pictures. What? I guess. Of his desk. Well, maybe? you'll just bring the hand. Oh really? Oh. Mm -hmm. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> you already have the picture. Well, that won't stress him out. That's a good thing. Um, the mail is across the hall. I don't oh, know is if this... you want to check or not. Yes. Can I? There. No, that's not Back the in the old artifact dump box. <laughs> Drop box. See if anybody's dropped anything off. Nope. Doesn't look like it. I wonder Dude. why she said to check. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Cool music again. Yeah, I like this music. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Is 
So we're going to the hospital? Is that what we're doing? Or we're still looking for... Uh, I guess so, because... I feel like someone's been there. Because we don't know where the mail is at, if there's mail? any... Do we have to ask <laughs> Joanna? She should have told us, or we would have an option to ask, I would have thought. Uh, Did she the... say voicemail? Oh, voicemail. Maybe that's what it was. I don't think... I don't recall she said it specifically, but maybe. Hospital. I don't know. Hospital, yeah. Just going down the metro. Alright, remember, don't freak them out. <laughs> they won't talk to them. <laughs> Keep calm. <laughs> Get, like, Batman in there. I wanted to what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good Batman I think voice, actually. Can... You look Thanks. familiar. <laughs> time for my snack? Yes. It's me, Nancy. Hi, You're Henrik. Looking well. I'm Nancy. We met at Beach Hill before your head injury. Beach Hill? I pushed you. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, yeah, I tell him it's a museum. Beach Hill is a museum here in Washington, D.C. Before your accident, you were working there on some important Maya glyph translations. Do you remember anything about that project? I don't even remember my own birthday. So if you're <laughs> this is what they were talking about. Uh, details, you're wasting we gotta be your careful. Time. Maybe we can tell him we're here to help him. Just don't anger him. Uh, clues. That's where we want to go, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. Nurse Bluefoot, you haven't lost any data. Your brain just doesn't know how to locate certain things at the moment. We need to give it some clues. How, pray tell, do you intend to do that? I'll visit. We'll talk. Sometimes I'll bring you pictures, like this one with the red hand on it. <laughs> yes. Or trigger memories, visual aids, like Nurse that one. Nurse Bluefoot says that hmm. visual aids often help to trigger memories. Pictures? Well, isn't this nice? Hmm. Such a do you bag. He was this sarcastic <laughs> before, so he must be yeah. feeling okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Still, a, still a jerk. So got that hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's got a window, too. I usually don't get that at a hospital. Yeah, only for their yeah. glyph translators. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. What? Why am I over here? Yeah, you're gonna put it up. Yeah. Put the memory. But okay. Okay. These symbols. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. These symbols mean the magician suffers yellow death. Your translator is sloppy. I should know. I am the author of the original work. Oh. You Aha. With a guys. That first glyph is the fool, not the magician. Furthermore, any decent epigrapher knows those glyphs refer to the infamous plague of oozing hives. A fitting curse for a fool, don't you think? I rather like it. Hmm. He knows all that, but he doesn't know his birthday. Yeah. Mm. I think he's faking it. <laughs> Did you steal it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's test him. Which one? See what he does. Let's let's accuse him. Just straight up. Yeah. If you wrote this note, then you must have stolen the carving of King Pakal. Did you? I don't remember. And then it just ends. He's like, yes. <laughs> 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 that would have been pretty good, actually. We cracked, we cracked the case. Just like, just like every real investigation, you just ask a direct question, and people just admit. right, yeah. You give them a little truth potion, and <laughs> put them in the hospital for a couple of days, and they'll remember. I'm investigating remember. the theft of the Pakal carving. Please, Henrik, try to remember something. Who in the world is Pakal? Oh, my head. Oh, he doesn't remember that. I can't take any more. Yeah, he's faking it. So fishy. Okay. 
It's time for some How did he know? Therapy. Nancy. Oh, we get to play a game. Tomorrow. No, I think oh, we just we get don't. kicked out. We're not oh. invited. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm no good at memory for games. Us. Guess we'll just have to go play the basketball game so... again. So maybe I'm we should go, go see some other people. We haven't seen them in a while. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's see the consulate. Okay. Tell them what's going on. You never know what you'll be able to ask people. So it's good to just check back every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want it for now? How about now? <laughs> Did you take it? Did you take it? <laughs> we know you took <laughs> Go it. Go to each of them. <laughs> Everyone just keeps saying no. They didn't take it. <laughs> That'd be funny if, like, each time you were on to something, they all got amnesia. <laughs> Very convenient. Yeah. Oh man, I fell down. Then they all kept falling down the same pyramid. <laughs> oh, <Nancy. laughs> like getting amnesia like, oh, there's know. a pattern <laughs> yeah yeah it's a classic job hazard for archaeologists mm. yeah you gotta watch your step mm -hmm. have you heard the bacall carving was stolen from the museum well i heard the alarms going off but it wasn't until henry called me that i heard the news you don't sound very concerned did you do it so he's the museum. It's weird that he heard the alarms. Yeah, it is. So he's pretty far away. Several subway stops. I was away. dropping off the monolith agreement for Joanna, as I said I would. That's true. He didn't uh, say he would do that. Okay. Did you just ask him directly? Suspicious? I was running late. I just figured somebody tripped a wire, and I kept going. Ran off, huh? <laughs> you know, someone's guilty, and after they are done completing their sentence, they go. Whoosh, yeah. <laughs> it's it either I didn't that. see you or see. you need to talk to the police. I'll need to alert the police so they can ask you some questions. Well, let's not scare them away yet. Let's just say, hey, it's weird that I didn't see you. We're being I like... See you. I was there on business, Nancy, not for tea. Whoa, that's a little... What's wrong with tea? Yeah, tea time. Yeah, let's ask them... I don't, don't know. What care? do you guys think? Yeah, don't you care? Don't you care well, he ca he wasn't a big fan, anyways, right? Well, uh, the artifacts that themselves, he was. Lost to me as soon as he left Mexico. So that's true. So my friend Pakal goes underground for a while until he is sold again. Suddenly, he turns up in Amsterdam or Hong Kong. Unless he is rightfully repatriated to Mexico, what's the difference? Mm, good point. I saw the uh, British Museum. I guess the um, there's a large collection of uh, s like metal sculptures that the British looted from Benin in uh, I think it's in West Africa back in the late 1880s, 1890s. Anyways, they're all at the British Museum in London, and apparently the um, they're they're building a in Africa. They're building a like a pretty substantial or are planning on building a pretty substantial museum but i guess under british law the british museum is not allowed to return objects that they looted or something like that maybe i'm getting that somewhat wrong but that that was a, the gist of it but i guess they have they're going to loan these to this oh well, that's museum. nice of them yeah which i guess it's written in the law that so they it's not that they necessarily don't want to it's just that they'd have to the British would have to change the law. Mm -hmm. to do that. So this was like a, a kind of workaround. But uh, but I, anyways, I I looked at I'd been to the British Museum several years ago, and it it is like amazing what they have. But it, it's also kind of sad that pretty much everything you see, none of it has uh, context either. I it, yeah, a lot of it was just taken. Just, during here's a thing. Here's right, another like, thing. Yeah. 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 There's like no interesting labels. It's just yeah. like. This mm. is what it is. <laughs> yeah, right. But these sculptures are incredible. Mm. Have you heard? Yes, Henrik Vanderhoon fell off the pyramid at the museum. He's in the hospital with a mysterious head injury. <laughs> mysterious. That's terrible news. I hope it's not too serious. That's it, huh? The smile. Yeah, well, he never stops. <laughs> Ooh. Do you know what cinnabar is? 
The red powder that the Maya used? Sure, I know. Don't it. patronize me. Tooth, You're right. Not? How did you know that, sir? Sutvar is super toxic. Just yeah. Just going to give away all the evidence that they have. <laughs> let, let me see your hand. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like withered away. <laughs> it's just you're like watching his face for symptoms of arsenic poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your face drooping to one side, sir? Arsenic poisoning. So, not to undermine the choice uh -huh. of what to say, but a lot of times it just leads to the same. Response. So it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> yeah. okay. Sometimes it matters, but usually you'll get a similar response. What is your point? Yeah, let's go with that the museum one. didn't have any, but the supplier said she ordered some last week. Have you called the police? Oh, shoot. I don't want to jump to conclusions. Well, of course. Sister Joanna couldn't possibly be a thief now, could she? <laughs> uh, do you consider Henrik a conquistador along with Joanna Riggs you and consider Sinclair? Henrik a conquistador like... along with Joanna Riggs and Sinclair? Henrik is a student of my culture and my heritage. I'm not trying to buy and sell it. We don't agree on everything, especially not baseball, but I have nothing <laughs> against him. <laughs> Tell me about baseball. What are your thoughts on uh, baseball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite you team? One of you uh, likes it, you one of you there. don't. I know Spanish, English, Portuguese, and several indigenous languages, including a quiche and a blah, bottle, blah. but I have yet to learn the language of glyphs. I'm so great. Thanks. Hmm. Okay, uh, I guess we're done. I think we yeah. asked that one before. Unless we want to get yelled at some more. <laughs> 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 nice guy, but really in the back way. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't ask him about artifacts. Stick to baseball. <laughs> so we should go. Oh, we're going. Are we going? Where are we going? Taylor Sinclair. Sinclair's office. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. I kind of suspect him. Him maybe being involved. It's a fiasco, just as <laughs> It's just I the feared. mustache. Oh, just I'm it's sick, and the tie. The tie the doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yes, your fears seem to have been quite visionary. I like the sass. I was in the Ooh. museum when it happened. You too, huh? Seems like everybody was there. What time? Yeah, it is kind of weird that we didn't see anyone. Let They're me see your lurking. cell phone. Wait, is he talking about the accident or the theft right now? I theft, think he's I talking think. about the theft. Okay. Yeah, I think the theft. Have you spoken to the police? I told them everything I know. I mean, I coughed up my brains right there on the table. What? <laughs> weird. That's a weird way of saying that. It's kind of strange. Oh, he, okay. New Mexico. Did you hear? The thief left a glyph message with a red handprint on it. That awful red hand was left on Prudence Rutherford's jewelry box in Topeka and on the display case in the museum in New Mexico. What's the chance they're not connected? Hmm. Good point. Mm hmm. Looks like we get like Nancy Drew has some competition for this <laughs> guy. Yeah. Why do Very you perceptive. think the thief is leaving this red handprint? To be a gruesome scoundrel? <laughs> Useful. Do you know okay. <laughs> personally? Oh, we saw each other at functions now and then. Poor Prudence. She adored that necklace. An act of wizardry. Let's ask him about that. Joanna says you performed an act of wizardry in helping Beach Hill acquire the Pakal carving. Getting those AKA bribe. There was a pig and a half. Oh, they're on the up and up, I assure you. Pig and but, a half. Oh, to have been at the height of my career back before the crackdown. Those were the days. <laughs> pig and a half. She had the same question. I have yeah. to ask it. A <laughs> pig and a half? Maybe sometime I'll tell you a sad story I call How Mexico Lost Its Sense of Humor. <laughs> Not today, though, Nancy. Oh, yeah. 
Let's. I need a photo. There we go. Let's ask him he has a picture. A yeah. The Pakal carving. Do you have one? Uh, Joanna took the official print for her insurance claim, but I have a couple extras. Here you go. Sucker. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh man, just bye. Bye. You can still ask him the other mm -hmm. question. Now let me see your hands. You're unethical. Do you have a red paint? Yeah. He talks with the hands. Keep an eye out. Cultural history. He's always hiding his hands. I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground. A the right hand is clean. Extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys nope, left hand. He's, he's clean. Mm, yeah, you're right. He's he's really hiding that hand. No, he showed them both. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. No. He probably washed them. <laughs> Let's look for symptoms. There was an incident. I feel like Rachel seen. gave us a clue. Henrik like we need to find something else about this guy. Injury. Poor Henrik. Another squabble between him and Joanna, perhaps? Oh, I'm kidding, but I do remember the time she threatened to push him in the pond. Temper, temper, I'm always telling her. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Can I commission you yet? Do you, That's by the... any chance, yeah. know what animal Pakal was afraid of? You've got me there. <laughs> Darn you, Sonny. When you <laughs> sell a piece of art, what kind of commission do you get? Standard, 10%. It's no king's ransom, unless, of course, you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? Huh. Oh. I'd better get going. Thanks for stopping yeah. by. He's not sleazy. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Turns out it was everybody. Yeah. They're all in it together. <laughs> They're all in on it. Yeah. Even though all... they all hate each other. Yeah. <laughs> Stay they all have they something to gain. So it seems Let's like... Let's go to the hospital. We got another picture. We could go show... What's We're not, face probably not allowed in until the next day, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we can in sleep. the lower left-hand corner, there's a little clock if you want to see what lower time left. it is. Oh, this. Way lower, yeah. It An old-fashioned clock. <laughs> it's a pocket watch. It didn't really pop we out from the background, so I didn't really... Let me get my pocket watch. <laughs> I forgot that I was there. Yeah. And so visiting engraved. hours are over. Yeah. Okay. Um, nothing left to ask Joanna, I don't think, right? So we should go back know. to the hotel and sleep until tomorrow? Or should we get more clues before we do that? We don't have anywhere else to anything else to do until we what, can talk what about to his what about his mail? We never found his mail. Voicemail, right? we think. That's what it meant, right? I don't know if we're we sure. Let's go check his mailbox one more time. I never saw his mailbox, except for the drop box, I guess. Hmm. But maybe now there's a suspicious package that we've started questioning some of the people, and some of them might get a little nervous and do something stupid. That's usually how you crack a case. Oh, she's not here. Oh, you might be able to snoop. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's put this... Let's put that sherds back together first. Oh, well. Is that... Interesting. What? Oh, I'm sure it's. <laughs> is that the cinnabar? I think it might be cinnabar. Cinnabar. Let's lick, lick it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we've been in this too long. Okay. What's that note on the table? Do you see uh, that? I couldn't interact with it. I don't think. Try harder. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding the keys. <laughs> yeah, you use a magnifying glass. <laughs> Scratching the lenses. <laughs> Trying to open stuff. Yeah. Does this open? Like, sir, that doesn't even have a lock. <laughs> or ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, what's this? A museum and culture. Copy one of three. Covered hmm. bowl from excavation Eight. sites. Length of loan, 90 days. Let's Go down. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Bird head. Mano and Matate, grounding tools. Maybe she used that to grind the cinnabar. Yeah. <laughs> Let's use an artifact for that. Oh, look at that. An artifact Key. in the drawer. Yeah, right. Well, maybe. Yeah, I guess it could be a replica. But that you couldn't look at that paper. 
No. Nope. What about her calendars? Does her calendar say like on this day steal the? <laughs> it won't let me look. <laughs> Anthony Drews is not very good at this. What about a picture? Can we take her pictures and show it to that guy? Nope. But there's mail on the table. He can't. It doesn't highlight that. Reddit. I can't do anything. <laughs> is this the mail? <laughs> <laughs> Did you try opening the drawers? I'm looking. Nope. I think hmm. that key was it. Okay, what's the key go to? Okay. Could be Henrik's. Oh. Oh, oh goodness. Man. Oh, man. What's all this stuff? Do we got to go through all this? Oh, oh, yeah. I guess. Oh, that's red. Oh. oh whew. One piece of jade could have so much history. <laughs> Unknown. Unknown. It was looted. looted. Yeah, it was 1940. Looted. Definitely looted. Yep. Sold to some rich people in Connecticut, 1993. They bought it at auction. Uh, okay. How much did they pay for it? Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Only $24 to ship it. <laughs> yeah, but it was like Man, the 90s. There was like no insurance wow. for that thing. Wow. Transfer of title. Yeah, this all looks in order. This is probably, <laughs> probably the story of most museums around the country. Someone looted it. Passed away. Passed away in the summer in the heat wave. Felix was 89 and Miranda was 91. And by all accounts, they lived an extraordinarily full lives. Still, it's too bad their air conditioning unit went on the blink, blink, went on the blink when it did. I and all they of owned that statue, but they couldn't fix their air conditioning. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think they were murdered. <laughs> Pearson's had no children. Per the instructions, I am in range of auction of their estate and donate the proceeds to charity. So Peterson's had a fabulous art collection, including some pre-Columbian artifacts. It may be of particular interest. The auction will be held on February 7th. Interesting. $800,000. Yeah. Wow. So this is the thing that was stolen. Yeah. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's make well, sure here's transferred it. for a million dollars. Wow. Ooh, wait a minute. Inflation. Yeah. <laughs> it was bought by the museum for 800000 I thought. Right. 100000 In exchange, we agreed upon some of one million. Wow. Well, here it says this from yeah. well, that's a different sale. 55. Oh, yeah, 1955. Okay. I got so you. So it's yeah. actually a good deal. Yes, yeah, it is. <laughs> if it went from 800,000 to a million yeah. in 50 years. Okay. Yeah. Nothing else to check. <laughs> they must have looted more of the same kind and it depreciated in value yeah. or something. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of fakes out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, get me out of here. What else? Now people just sell it on like eBay and Facebook, but I guess Facebook has actually cracked allegedly cracked down on the illegal, you know, the black market of artifacts in the Middle East. I, I read an article not too long ago that talked about that. So I guess for a while they were selling, people were selling stuff on, like ISIS was looting stuff in Syria and then going on Facebook Marketplace and selling it. Yeah, and ask ask Hobby Lobby about that too. Right, then too, yeah. Yeah, they were probably the number one client. Um, I don't know if you guys have been picking up on the threads of the other stolen jade carvings, but that magazine article in the corner, that was about another mm. woman who had a similar carving oh. stolen. Oh, yeah, Prudence, they mentioned her. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this is the lady that that one guy kept referencing, right? Sinclair. Yeah, if you go further in the magazine, it, I think it shows a picture of the necklace. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. So, and yeah, just something to be aware of. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> All these feel like stolen jade cardings. Sort of thing. I left the stove on. Let's call that number 555 Yachty. <laughs> there are like Easter eggs in these games, so could 
could be something. Mm. Okay. So that Sinclair guy knew this Rutherford lady, and that was stolen from her. Mm -hmm. And he knows this museum, and now it has one stolen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and there was another museum that they mentioned that does their Sin jade carving got stolen as well. Does Sinclair have a connection to them? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it was Sinclair. What a door. Yeah. There's a lot of cabinets over here, and I have a new key. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's open locked. those up. Nope. It's locked. I bet it's for a case. Or where else would it be? I don't know. It does look like a case key, doesn't it? Case key, yeah. But I don't know one that I need to open. Unless it's down in the depths thing. Is this Do you remember a, Rachel? Is this something we should pursue right now, Rachel, or not? Uh, I think you can come back to it later. Okay. Okay. Well, we got that picture. Do we want to go show that to... We need to sleep first till the next day. Yeah, let's go to the hotel. <laughs> go rest. We'll just it's hang been a out. long I... day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of inter interrogating people really takes it out of you. Mm -hmm. Socializing in general. <laughs> That's true. My face, my face always hurts after having to fake smile. Mm -hmm. okay. Conferences and oh. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is how we advance just time. Go to the clock, right? You just set the clock. Yeah. The alarm. Yep. What time do they open the hospital? Like 10? 10. <laughs> Going to Nancy's sleep. Nancy's sleeping in. <laughs> yep. That was like 12 hours of sleep. Probably more. She's like, oh, before I leave. It was 6 o'clock. Yeah. It yeah. was like 16 hours of sleep. That doesn't mean she went to bed right then, though. Right? I'm concerned no, about she, Nancy. She, she, first, she watched David Letterman, and when that... And when she went to bed, <laughs> and when she woke up in the morning, she watched Jerry Springer for about an hour. And mm. It's still on. Oh, at this time it was, I classic guess. Classic Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> what are they even paying her for at this internship? <laughs> <laughs> are they? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Boo. Okay, hey, let's put another thing on the board. Oh, look at all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. He's 61 and a half. Allergic to chicken. He's, he's divorced. Let's ask him about that. <laughs> Why did you get divorced? What should I post here? <laughs> what should I post here? Nope. <laughs> Good try. Well, Maybe the keys? Look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was ask him where that key goes to. <laughs> Can you ask him that? What does this key go to? Nope. Okay. Ready Let's to do, do some, some memory, memory work. work, Henrik. I brought you a picture. This will help you to remember. That face. He's as familiar as my own feet. Your own feet, huh? Can you remember the last time you saw him? Pakal. Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it. I must have. <gasps> But why? What? Oh, Pakal, what could I have meant by this? <laughs> he is so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> what could it all mean? <laughs> Thanks, Henry. Let's ask Where's him where it's at. Now? I can't remember. Ah. Take it easy, Henrik. Take it easy or push? Probably, probably take it easy. Take it easy. Tell him to take it easy, because last time he freaked out and went to bed. It's still in the museum. I'll start breaking stuff. Hmm. Uh... Why would you break into the display? Probably best not to, to ask a leading question for an amnesia patient. To protect him. I had to protect him. 
Oh, Pakal! Something is going on at that museum, a devious plot. I was the only one who could stand in the way. What kind of plot? seems to remember it quite a bit. Messy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. Perhaps the only thing I can <laughs> offer you key. is this key. It was found in one of my pockets when I was brought in. Oh, there is the other key. That's what we need. I've got to go to his desk. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Maybe that key goes to the lock. Sure, you Nancy. He would have hit it in his desk. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. <laughs> we'll get to the right. of this. I promise. Now she's I'll an accomplice. I'll yeah. With my I'll return. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll just return with the police. Like he did it. One forty percent. This is the key that explains it all. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh. This is a long shot, but do you know what animal Pakal was afraid of? You're asking the wrong Dang amnesiac. It. Hmm. Uh. Sure. Do you know anything yeah, about so, uh, the theft of Prudence Rutherford's necklace? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Sure. Let's go tell him to rest it up, and then we'll go. One more? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, he so, can kick us out, and then we'll be in the same place. Place an order for Cinnabar with Keep It Real Restoration. You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Oh, uh, no. Mm -hmm. No, he's lying to you us. You wouldn't try to frame her, would you? Yeah, I'd ask him. <laughs> you wouldn't try to frame her, would you? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. Well, he's honest. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I guess. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. Ooh. This guy's the worst criminal ever. What? Oh, I see. I'm still in the room. First, he jumps off a pyramid. <laughs> then he gives himself <laughs> a walk. first. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go try to the key out. Office. Been ransacked. Oh, that would be another twist. That would be a, quite a twist. It's locked. <laughs> okay. Try the right key. Oh, that key. I, I think it's the that one. Yeah. Yes. We got. Oh wow, man. That's uh, an artifact in its own right. Yeah. Look at that. hundred megabytes. That's huge. <laughs> megabytes. <laughs> megabytes. <laughs> oh please. So we gotta go back to our hotel room, I guess. Was there anything else? No. Oh yeah, you might. Yeah, look, it's. Is it? Oh, maybe not. What about those other drawers? Yeah. Might be able to do. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Uh, Whoa. What's this. Oh, we gotta solve a puzzle. Oh, it's about the museum. Okay. Decoding numbers. Yeah. We already solved this because we're super smart. Smugglers. Smugglers. Oh, yeah. This is a station that the smugglers will be message. Oh, take messages. Oh, so we can finally use that ham radio. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Last three digits of the series. Maybe they have the answers. Well, that's complicated. Yeah. I know who probably has the answers. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to solve this. <laughs> yeah, I think the main takeaway now is that he's communicating with smugglers. Or he's okay. hacking in on their Right. Their radio anyway. How do I get mm -hmm. out of here? And knows their codes. Hmm, looks like I need to find someone who speaks Nahuatl. Oh, I know who. Yeah, that guy told us, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alejandro. He speaks many languages. Can we just take the book with us. The bunny all day. Temperatures in the hundreds, water scarce, but Highland region is beautiful and pristine. Been spotting for time. Okay. Doesn't look good. 
Last night, shared tent with Big Bunny out of kindness. What does he eat? Nearly suffocated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gassy guy. Yeah. He had no unusual effect on me. Uh, okay. Interesting. Well, this guy's no. Nope. Guy's a character. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, oh goodness, there's lots more. So this is a journal that he, this is his journal that he kept, I guess. While I'm he is out. I'm not sure whose journal like this is because it said 1975. Oh. I think on the first okay. page. Interesting. I like how they had flip flops on. But yeah, it looks like someone's field journal. Yeah. Okay. Very unprofessional field journal. Yeah. So standard. Exactly what I tell students not to put in their <laughs> Peace signs and yin yang signs. Outburst. Mostly like personal comments about yeah. other people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Code or not. Just shouldn't be in there. Bad, yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sir Bunny is whoever he's with. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of awesome. Yeah. Is that a, no, it's so more. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow, man. Okay. Lots of translation notes. Man, I bet this was a field day for someone taking detailed notes and trying to solve puzzles. <laughs> okay. That should be it. So Maybe. we've got that disk. Do we want to go check in, on, oh, I guess, on our computer? Okay. Yeah. So you might even be able to go back to the hospital and give him this piece of paper that you saved. That seems like a clue. Let's do that. And then maybe the consulate <laughs> after that. Yeah, true. Things are really heating up. I know. Mysteries. I feel like they should have, like, in this game, or maybe it's just the way we played it, instead of doing all the puzzles at one time, are you supposed to kind of, like, I guess you have to kind of do them all at one time, right? Like, once you start doing them? Yeah, Maybe. I guess we could have been slowly doing them throughout the first half. Like, we gotcha. spent a lot of time talking to people. Uh-huh. I think you have to know. Oh, he's sleeping. Put there. that up on there. Wake him up. Nice. Wake up! Take, take the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk to... He'll, he'll know. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Unless he lied. Unless he lied. Yeah, it'd be funny if he was like, I don't actually speak that language. Oh, he's bragging. <laughs> I was just trying to impress you. I didn't think you'd actually ask <laughs> <laughs> I need to know right. what a waddle word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Because you're a snake. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> to send a message so sketchy radio. yeah it's a long story now if only i could remember the word for snake oh he didn't Here know he didn't great know help to henrik i wonder if you can help me improve my memory too hmm he you knows. don't actually position. know do you yeah something tells me this translation is going to come with strings attached very insightful Nancy. play play dumb yeah, let's play dumb. What are you talking about, Alejandro? I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pocal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and mm. bring it to me, I think it's convenient that we just saw this. Uh huh. Just a little suspicious. Oh, oh! There's one more. Oh, I'll go behind your back. Not That's the not last one. Yeah. yeah. Heck with Who that. Cares? Yeah. <laughs> She's Joanna. a suspect. That's right. She's still my number one suspect. She barely pays us. 
<laughs> you get what you get what you pay for you know? right and now you have an urgent need to see the provenance documents is it just me or is this a little suspicious if i can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork whenever and wherever it resurfaces Okay, Alejandro. I'll see what I can do. We will do. help you. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Oh. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I'm going to get back, get back to the museum. museum. Yes, you should. Oof. Yeah, those provenance documents aren't going to walk themselves over here. Right? Yes, we we should have taken them when we had a chance. Right? Yeah, why didn't we just take it? I guess you could. You didn't have that option. Then. Yeah, we didn't know. But now, it's too early yet. She's probably so still now, there. is she going to be in there now? We'll have to, like, we'll find distract out. her. We do have this piece of high technology we can put in our computer, too. Oh, oh yeah. true. It's locked. Hey. Nice. It's like they knew. Kind of weird that she's not here, but maybe it's a Saturday. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yoink. I just take them? Yeah, how do you do that? Do you just... Hmm. Maybe you have to find the right one? Look through the right one? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> how do we take them? Yeah, how do we take these papers? He didn't tell us. <laughs> no? Weird. Oh, oh, I guess. That's oh, there you it. go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. Nope, nope. Okay, nothing else we need to do here, right? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. We can go show him the documents, and then I think we're, we're right at time, so maybe we'll do that, see what happens. Yeah, good call. And then we'll leave on a cliffhanger with we'll the... Leave on a Yes. Dun, dun, the uh, dun, floppy disk. <laughs> What's the yeah. rounded floppy disk? Yeah. I'm... It is a weird <laughs> shape for a disk. I don't remember Maybe... ever seeing one like that. Me neither. <laughs> Maybe it was like a thing just for like Hello, a year, Nancy. you know? You have yeah. Official delivery for me, I hope. Here's your Nancy has now committed a crime. Yeah. Oh. Put it on his desk. Oh, yeah. You have to pick him up. Oh, okay. I thought I was supposed to read it. His note upside down. <laughs> Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? Yes. Yeah. I trust your Nahuatl has become fluent again. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C-O-A-T-L. Hmm. Okay. Now I we can use a ham radio. Museum. Goodbye. All right. All right. And radio and a disc. That's, Next that's time we... on Nancy yeah. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. investigate a floppy disk. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's on it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that's that's our that's our hour for this episode of Archaeology Arcade. Uh, as always, we'll put this up on our YouTube channel. So if anybody was watching this and you missed part of it, uh, you can check it out there. Or you can always subscribe to our channel to check out all the content that we have on on there, including Archaeology Arcade and a bunch of other stuff uh, as well. Just go to uh, youtube.com slash Florida Public Archaeology Network, all spelled out. And so until next time, thanks again, Tristan and Rachel, for uh, going on this Nancy Drew adventure. We'll have to yeah. maybe maybe we'll solve it next time. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah.